Hi everyone, Scorp here, continuing the Capsule Monster Coliseum Libra Mod Thunder playthrough. Today we have Miss Shizu Ishtar. Um, Ishizu uses Thunders, um, and I think some Darks against you. Um, basically she's just here to give you a bunch of endgame Thunders to use, um, to make mainly the last fight easier. Ishizu. She's really the first place that you're going to get quite a few good in-game thunder creatures. And in-game thunder creatures are very strong. Oh, just one dark. Um, now this field is really not nice to you. <clears throat> There's a lot of light here, um, but it's not nice to both of you at the same time, so it's fine, right? I'd like to level Royal Guard. Um... Let's bring Barrel Dragon. Um, just not. I'm trying to spread around some experience. Um, Exodia would be worth it. Should be strong enough to kill some stuff. Um, Dark Magician Girl's pretty good. Maybe summon Skull. If this were leveled, it would be very nice. Oh, Blast Sphere can be very good on this field. I'll bring that. Let's just line this up with their darn magician girl. <clears throat> Seems like a good idea to me. Uh, this should be on the opposite diagonal of dark magician girl. not great to have two light square bishops. In chess, that's, uh, they would both not be worth a full three points. Or maybe they'd be worth more than three points. Hmm. That's an odd thought. Would it make them worth more? To have two of the same type of bishop. Um, I say that because then they could protect each other in chess. But I mean, overall, you'd be worse off because you can only hit half the board. So I know when you have the bishop chair pair in chess, you have like. They can be worth like three and a half points or four points if they're in a good spots. Perfect, maxed out the plus AP. Uh, 
Um, I should go over and look at what she has just to show it off. Um, level 6 Machine King and Gigatech Wolf. And another Gigatech Wolf. Um, these pieces are insanely strong. So I'll want one of each of those. Um, I'm going to take the Thunder Dragon so I can make, make THTD. Um, Dice Armadillos, whatever. Uh, Dark Magician Girl. I am not going to grab that. I'm using one already. Um, and then two Royal Guards. That are just innately better than mine because they have levels and mine does not. like to protect my symbol a little. Um, her pieces do move extremely quickly. <coughs> and I would prefer to not lose my pieces, or my symbol. I would like Exodia right where my Summon Skull is currently. Um, and Summon Skull would really like to be right here, um, so that it has this straight aisle shot all the way down. Um, and I wanted Blast Sphere up here. I, I'm just trying to bring my Dark Magician Girl over a little to join the fight. I need this square right here, unfortunately. That can go no closer. Um, I unfortunately can't just go like one for one with all of her pieces because I have Karibos. <coughs> Also, I believe her pieces hit harder than mine. Well, 
I'm trading a perfect block for a two shot, so hopefully she doesn't um, <clears throat> interrupt their fight over here. Okay, I don't think that matters. Other than that's a free level. Of course, that's obnoxious. I don't know what she's playing at. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, whoops. Annoying. I think the most annoying thing is, is that these don't have experience values.
Well, I guess Blast Sphere is just gonna pick her apart. Really glad I brought this thing. Oh, and this gets a self-destruct ability, I forgot about that. <clears throat> For self-destruct, it doesn't do nearly enough damage. My vision. Oh, did the Machine King just step into the same exact spot that the other piece did? It did. Hmm. Well, that's, uh, that's a shame. AI does not really like that. Oh, wonderful. <clears throat> and a heal. Okay. Hit it again. Uh, Machine King has an experience value. Which is nice. Oh, great, great AI. Oh my. Okay. Well, this needs to kill this. Should be a level up for the Royal Guard. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Can both these Karibos kill this? I don't think so. Um... Now we do a little math to see if this Thunder Dragon is going to actually kill this Barrel Dragon. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. Nice diagonals. How do I want to do this? I have s I'm 
Well, that leveled and had way more experience than it needed for it. Oh well, I'm trying to level the Royal Guard, so... <coughs> we'll get at least one of these kills to it. Um, sir, you <laughs> moved your Royal Guard where the Dice Armadillo needed to move. This fight's over, it's just a matter of getting the fight the kill to the Royal Guardian. <clears throat> um, in other games that card's called Royal Guardian. Um Okay, well, that should let him hit my symbol. Or her hit my symbol. Oh, this bad. Oh, you'd be having a new voice line that I haven't seen before. Because the symbol got half health in one hit. At least is a slightly interesting way to end, end a fight. Shame I just let Summon Skull get hit. But otherwise, I mean, it was a pretty good fight. And hey, Royal Guard's leveling at a very quick rate. <clears throat> level 3 Royal Guard's actually usable compared to its like level 1 counterpart. Oh, I capped out the Blast Sphere. So I wanted Thunder Dragon. Um, I'm not going to take the Royal Guard because I already have one and it's just leveling. Um, I want Machine King because Machine King is really powerful. Um, and I also want a Gigatech Wolf for the same reason. All the rest of these can be grabbed in the shop, so I'm not going to bother with them. Thanks everybody for watching and have a nice day.